great. How are you? Uh, hanging in there as best as I can. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been kind of, I think, a crazy market. I don't know. Maybe it's been me, not the market. I'm just happy some of these things are moving now. I'm going to try to share my screen. Let me know if you can see the Tesla. I can see Tesla. Okay. Okay. So did you hear what I said about this in the room in this morning? Yes, I was in the room all morning. Okay. So did you hold it till it got up to the previous high? I actually, I, actually, um, I got out around um, 1790. Well, that was good. I was good. Yeah. And I walked away with just short of $12,000. It was like 11,997 or something. Okay, that's great. So then was this, so then that was you bought two today of the 1700 calls or you carried over one from last week and bought one today no i cashed out last week positive don't ask me what oh, i made because i don't remember oh. on that and I bought two new ones this morning on the open ish you know so but the money i made today was on a brand, on two brand new calls so you totally, though, didn't follow your money management guidelines. I mean, I, I, you made 12 grand, which is great, but you really only should have bought one. So you did, you know, I mean, that's just fine. But I'm just saying, like, you did this before and it. I know it was it was risk, but I felt confident about the charts today and everything. And okay. it was really volatile times and something extra insane was going on today. I may not have been so brave. Because I thought it over before I did it, really, believe me, I, I did. mean, it's your money. I, I think you can take the risk, but then if you don't do it the same on every trade and then one loses and that happens to be the one that loses, like, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I've learned that the hard way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm glad that you did so well on this. I kind of wish you had held the one from last week. I know, but, you know, I didn't. And going, I'm just trying to... I think I got a little gun shy for a second because I made some bad um, moves, you know? It was. Um, what? You know, I mean, just bad exits and stuff. I didn't exit, you know, a while back. I, I don't know what was wrong. I just kind of sat there and watched everything happen with amazement, and then I didn't get out, you know? Well, I know you got out of the Disney and the Facebook before they popped, but you did get out of those with money. Oh yeah, I got, I mean, I was fine on things like that, but I did get out the, those too soon, but I'm thinking back a little way. Remember when I was, I, I sat there one morning and my account shot way up and I didn't get out and I, I ended up like basically closing out of what was up, I think around, I think that day I was really up around $20,000 and I didn't get out. I, I don't know what day that was or what trades they were, do you remember? We had some Boeing. We had, I think we had, oh gosh, I'm trying to, it was when we were doing a lot of Boeing. Anyway, these, the, they were down, but that morning, everything shot up. I mean, it was literally. Oh, I know open. what day you're talking about. That was like yeah. more than a month ago, but I remember. Yeah, it was a while ago. And after I did that, I think I got a little bit, um, a little bit discouraged with myself because I couldn't believe I did that. And. I think it's just you have a difficult time reacting quickly, but I don't think you need to do that. You could decide in the morning in the pre-market. You could decide, you just make the decision. And then when you make the decision, then that's the end of the story. But when you don't make a decision at all, you freeze kind of like a deer in the headlights. And then exactly. that's when it happens. And it moves so quickly that if you don't know, you don't have it pre-planned, then by the time you can't make up their mind at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Oh, totally. I know what the deer feels like now. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. But today was good because I said, this is going to go to 1800 today. That's it. Like I said that. So therefore today was really easy, I think, to manage it. It was, it was great. I love the way you talk today because I think it gave me some of my confidence back. <laughs> you're, like, I'll, I'll, you're like, I'll take that. No, 10. <laughs> no, because I'm serious. I have to be honest. I know I've done well this year, but let me tell you, I mean, I get really upset with myself if I'm not performing like I think I should when I do this stuff, you know? Yeah, I know. And it throws me that. off, you know, and I have to stop that because it really then affects my next day. I know that you don't have any confidence. All right, what are you doing with the cues, or did you get out of them, or did you hold I'm them? still in the cues. I'm only down 250 bucks. I mean, you know, 
I mean, I could just kill that. No, I don't think you need to kill this. I was just going to say, but, I think this has a pop tomorrow. So I just yeah, and this. I mean, I'm not feeling at all worried about this apple. I mean, I'm not. You well, know, it's no, back to 460. Yeah. I'm staying in both of those, um, and that's it for now. That's exactly what you've called, and that's what I'm, I'm trading. So. Yeah, this apple is probably going to get up tomorrow, and the market's probably going to get up tomorrow. I really didn't know what this would do today as far as how it was going to close, and then we were going to day trade it. Then we didn't. Then it didn't set up right, and then it fell. It just fell all the way down into noon, but um, there's nothing wrong with this, and actually the price of this compared to what – whatever you paid for this i'm guessing this isn't really this looks fine like even look at the price of it, it's really not that bad like i wouldn't worry about it i know it's swung uh, around but i'm not worried i'm okay with it totally comfortable you know i have a love thing for apple anyway yeah but i'll tell yeah. you um i i mean you know like i'll tell you something here it's tesla i wanted to get into the 1800 but i didn't go back in and it just went to 1802 and um you know I'm Why not, would I'm you want to go back to do... in this? What do you mean? I'll let you, what do you mean? Because you got oh, out of the I'm, ones? I'm being honest because I think everybody needs to hear this. It's easy to get like, go like, oh, I want to go back in, but I know better as what I want to do versus what I should do when it's this high. You know, it may go higher tomorrow, and I think you're probably right it's going to because there's a lot of euphoria going on around Tesla right now. But then I'm like, oh, if I don't, I'm going to lose about $5,000 before I get out. But what did I say about this this morning? Else, What else did I say? Do you remember what else I said about it? Um, let me think a minute. You said, you said it. You said if it hits 1800 today, mm -hmm. you you feel like it's going to keep running tomorrow. And I agree with you. Uh -huh. um, but what else so did I say, though? I said it's probably going to do what then? And then it's going to go poof. Like all the air is going to go out of a balloon, I believe is what you said. I said it's going to gap up then tomorrow, and then you're going to have to exit it immediately. And sometimes that's really hard to do because it's going to drop off. Well, I know. I remember when you said that. And that's that's how, actually, this is good. This is where I have problems. Like, I'm good at watching it run up, but I'm like, all of a sudden, I think I get mesmerized. And I'm like, oh, my God, I, I forgot to get out. No, I mean, I, it's not that you get mesmerized. I think you're just thinking this trade is so good, it's going to keep going. But but uh, every trade has a beginning, middle, and end, and you can't forget that. So. Right. I think when the market's really like it's been for us this year overall, it's easy to forget that <laughs> for a minute well, until you do something was, crazy and get a reality check. Yeah, well, the beginning of the year was a lot better as far as follow through than it was during the during the period of the, of the last couple of months. But I will say that I'm glad that things are starting to get some nice follow through here. But I still doesn't I don't think that means being lazy about taking targets. No, 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 no. I, I agree. I mean, I'm trying to be super, super, super disciplined with everything I do right now. So I think you did great, but I would not go back into this here because you had a great trade. You oversized yourself to begin with. So, like, just look at it like that. Like, you, if you would have just taken one today, then, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't have made what you did. So you were aggressive, so just leave it. Like you can't be aggressive in every trade. And I think sometimes you've been like that, like you think you're getting out and then you're just gonna retake it and it's gonna keep going. But I, I, I think you'd be better off not doing that actually, but you know. I'm not doing it, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I, I respect what you say, I do, so. Yeah. Anyways, you did good with this today, and so then let's talk about Apple. What's the target on Apple then tomorrow morning if you get up, and tomorrow morning wherever this closes today if it gaps up, what's the target on Apple tomorrow? You asked me this in the room, then I don't think you said the answer, so what's the target? The target is 470. Yep, that's it. And then the party's over. Everybody run when it hits 470. <laughs> and it depends where where it opens. So if this opens up like at 465, who knows? This could run up to 475 tomorrow. I don't know. So we'll see right. where this opens. I imagine we'll be out of Apple early tomorrow for some reason. That's just my feeling. I don't know why. And then what about the queues? Then if you're staying with this, what's the target for this? The target for the queues is... Um, sorry, I'm trying to look at your charts on the... Yeah, they blow it up. Yeah. The daily. Um, 
the target for the cues would be it's above that point right there anything above um 274 really right we're at 275.39 so if we gap up tomorrow like if we close here at 275.39 and we gap up tomorrow at 275.40 where do you think we'd run 280 that would be like the dream target yeah yeah I, I remember you said that one time. I don't remember. I really don't know the rest. Okay. <laughs> I'd say 277 would be a realistic dream target 280. And I'm not saying okay. that's a given anyways. But again, if we, you know, 277, 278, dream target 280, that would be amazing. And then we might pull back, even though I don't talk like this, but I know you look at these things, then we might, then we might swing around again. But anyways, it's interesting because the spies here are still are flirting with the high, but they're not over it. I mean, they're just not over it. But anyway, go ahead. I think Boeing's messing something up, I think, for the, um, what, for the spy today and the diamonds? Is that it? The two well, that is yeah, the banks were lower. The banks were lower this morning. Now, tomorrow we're okay. going to Walmart. And then remember, targets this week, you've done well with those in the past, but you don't like the shorts. You always hate the shorts. So I don't know if I'm calling puts in these or not. How... How, have you done well with these puts lately or not? I think the only puts you did well with were rolling. Yes, but I've made some money in, in the puts lately that you've called. So, oh, wow. I mean, I just have to be super disciplined. And I don't know why. I just have to pay a lot more attention when I'm in puts. I can't explain it. What do you mean? As far as getting out? Or what do you mean? Yeah, I don't know. I Sometimes I think I, yeah, the, my exits. My exits and entries have just bothered me a little bit lately. So I'm just kind of go, going through some reviews on charting and stuff. As so, far as the entries, if you get in and it doesn't go right a ways, then it doesn't mean you have a bad exit, like, I mean, a bad entry like Apple. Because sometimes if you don't get in right a ways and then it goes, you'll miss it. So I think right. it all evens out in the end as far as that goes. But your exits, I think, need improvement. But I think you did a great job with this today because I gave you the number and you had the conviction. And this is, look at this right now. This is, look at this. This is going to run up into the close here, 820. 820. Yeah. And again, I know, you're, I know you're out of it, but this is very interesting here because I kind of felt like momentum would come into this if it got over that number. But I didn't know exactly what time it was going to do it. I'm just kind of Crazy. thinking right now, like people that are holding this still, mm -hmm. if it keeps running like this, you better get out of the close. Don't hold your breath about in the morning on this one. Well, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not holding this till tomorrow. Absolutely. No. Yeah, I'm I mean, not either. yeah but this yeah. is kind of like that day with the Facebook. I know you weren't watching it then where it just like poof, it went and it just went off like a rocket. Yeah, I bet it's going to do it, and I exited. Oh, well, That's it's okay. okay.